Hello YouTube, how's it going? In this video, I want to demonstrate to you how you fix a um, sunroof motor on a 203 Mercedes C-Class. And if your sunroof make a noise like this, then uh, you probably need to repair your sunroof motor gear. And let me show you how to do it. We'll begin with removing your doom light. Um, never pry open from here. Instead, you see right here, there's two slot. Insert a flathead screwdriver and pry open the lens from here. Once the lens is out, you pull on these two tabs to drop the doom light out. You pull on both sides and it should come out. The assembly is out. You go ahead and disconnect all the electric connectors. In order to access to the sunroof motor on this side, you have to drop roof line a little bit down. So now what we're gonna do, you need to remove this one, there's a screw inside, you need to remove this visor on both sides, and you need to um, remove your um, grab handle. And but begin, we begin with remove your rear view mirror, and this one just simply pull down, like that. Just be gentle. And one more thing I forgot to mention, you have to remove this bracket as well. Another thing worth to mention is, when you remove these, um, I don't know what they call them, like insert, um, this handle is still very tight. And the only way to remove is use some force and pull it down. Don't be scared, and just like this, and come off. There's no other way to do it. Now we go to the each door and remove this uh, uh, weather strip and we have to uh, remove this uh, a pillar um, under one condition if you think your a pillar is like very bad condition um, then we can skip this actually just you should have enough room to pull a two inside and once you uh, just open up a little bit and uh, you pull on this edge just pull it and don't pull it too hard you bend the roof liner and then you'll be able to get up plenty of space and to fix this you know uh, you have two ways either you re replace this motor pretty expensive or I show you a simple way um, you just open this cover see this cover there's uh, three screws one two and three and from there we remove the gear and we'll fix it and once you lose the screws here's what it looks like this is the part that's moving and uh, in terms turn these uh, uh, turn by this gear and turn inside and moves these um, sunroof back and forth and that problem is lies right here these uh, teeth on the top actually stripped and cause it to uh, not grab firmly onto the gear and make that noise so the only the only way to fix it is to um, Make a pull a spacer underneath in between this and the bracket to jack a little bit up into the gear and to make a bite stronger. So let me show you what the, what do I mean? I made 3D printed these uh, washers different thickness. Uh, this time I used a smaller washer, a thin one. Place in this groove and then let it sit on top of this hump. What it does is slightly raise this gear and kind of just push it into the uh, the other gear more in order to let it uh, you know grip harder on there and make the sunroof work again and now let's back onto the car and take a look now put this gear back into the car and then before that we need to apply grease on this gear side this side of gear and on the back now let's give it a try and see if it works Okay, once we tight everything back, plug this three main connectors back, we we'll give it a try. Now first thing, to close the shade and keep pressing for three seconds to reset the computer. Now press it once, shade opens, there you go, it works. Not only no noise, nothing. So the spacer fixed your motor and saved you hundreds of dollars. 
That's how you fix your motor issue. If you do need a part, I do have 3D printed parts list on eBay. Let me know. And for now, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to、uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.